<laughs> y'all know what? Something ain't right about this rich homie corn situation. You know, it's lots around in this situation. And I got some questions. I got some questions. Maybe y'all got the answers. If y'all got the answers to these questions I'm about to ask y'all, put it in the comment box below. Because I don't understand what the world just happened to this entertainer who has over, over 7,000 music videos and recordings that he haven't even put out yet. I don't get it. Some ain't right about it. Okay, boom. His girlfriend, his children's mother, she wake up and realize that he didn't get in the bed with her last night. Okay, sometimes ain't normal. But anyway, she get the kids together to get them ready for school. She go downstairs. She see him still sleeping on the sofa. So she put some cover on him. She leave to take the kids to school and she come back. When she come back, this is the part of the story I don't understand because it's two different parts. When she come back, supposedly she's supposed to went upstairs and went to sleep till 11 a.m. And then when she woke up, she realized that he hadn't woke up yet. She went downstairs or wherever he was on the couch and decided to try to wake him up. When she tried to wake him up, he wouldn't wake up. He wouldn't move. He wouldn't nothing. So she calls the daddy. While she's talking to the daddy on the phone, she called 911. 911 is advising her what to do. She calm as fuck, y'all, but everybody handle situations differently. So she called 911. 911 telling her what to do. She's telling the 911 operator that he's not breathing, he's cold, and he's foaming at the mouth. 911 operator asked her to go get an EpiPen or something of that matter. She didn't know what the 911 operator was talking about. So therefore, the 911 operator told her to lay him down on the floor on his back. In between the time that she trying to lay uh, Rich Hong Kong down on the floor on his back, a dude walks in. You can hear him, but you can't hear him. So she put it on speakerphone so the dude can hear the directions that the 911 operator gave him. Okay, boom. You can hear the dude say something. He say something like, he gone, or he already dead. You know, he already gone. You know, you can hear it, but then again, you can't hear it. Oh, excuse me. So, you know what happens after that. Two, three days later, no, it get out on the news. Let me roll back, y'all. Some kind of way, the 911 call surfaced all over social media, all over the news, all over the United States of America, probably all over the world, because he used to perform out of the country, too. So, they finna sue them folks for that, just know that. Rich Homer Corn family finna sue the 911 people that put it out there because that's supposed to be something confidential. So, anyway, the next couple of days, like yesterday, it's another story that occurs. The story is I don't know if it's her brother, his brother, but it's a dude. He say, he found Rich Homie Corn on the kitchen floor, I think at 4 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, with food in his mouth. Laid out on the kitchen floor with food in his mouth. Not laid out drunk and chewing food and eating in his mouth, but laid out on the kitchen floor with food in his mouth. So this dude, he decides to pick Rich homie corn up and go lay him on the sofa. Now, this the kicker thing about it. He ain't tell nobody. He ain't tell nobody. 
Because if you would have told somebody, maybe the situation would have went another way. Now, just imagine rich homie corn on the kitchen floor laid out with food in his mouth. If you come in that motherfucker, what you gonna do? Put it in the comment box below. Because if I come in that motherfucker and I see him laid out on the floor with food in the mouth, first thing I'm going to do is yell. I'm finna yell and wake up every and anybody in the house. The children too, god damn it. Because I want to know why bro on the floor with food in his mouth just laid out. So, he didn't even tell nobody. He just picked him up. And put him on the motherfucking sofa. Was he dead then? And why are you just telling somebody about this here shit? Or did you tell somebody about this here shit? And just decided to bring it out. Because eventually they were going to interrogate every motherfucker in that motherfucker except them children. To find out what the fuck going on. Understand, Rich Hunter Corn is a famous rapper, and let me tell you something that happened the day before he died. Let's just put this on the table. We ain't gonna blame nobody, but let's just put this on the table. Rich Hunter Corn supposed to have been going to testify in the Fulton County Courthouse in Atlanta, Georgia, on the Young Thug trial. Never made it because he died. And for all the people that sitting around here, because I know there's a lot of people online, they be saying, oh, uh, you know, when people be playing his music now and stuff like that, they be like, oh, uh, you probably weren't bumping it until he died. Oh, uh, you probably didn't come to this page until he died. Whoop, the whoop, the whoop. They got to be the other people that don't live in Atlanta, Georgia, Lou. Because let me tell you something about these people down here in the ACL. Somebody like Rich Homer Corn, who come from the gutter, who done came up just to live this here lifestyle. People in Atlanta love him. They don't, they're not in love with him because they're not his family member. They're not his girlfriend. They're not his nieces, his children and stuff like that. It's a different kind of love. We have love for him. Ever since Lifestyle been out, they've been bumping it. They ain't never let it go. Everybody listen to Lifestyle. And that came out in 2000 and what? And it's 2024. And people still listening to that. You know what I'm saying? Rich homie and this motherfucker. So don't try to act like people just getting on board with Rich Home Coin because he passed away. And not down here in Atlanta, Georgia, but we went been on board. And you know what? His dad said that he's going to have a funeral where all of his fans could come. Do you know that the AT aliens finna shut that shit down? Baby, I'm going to watch it from afar. I'll watch it when it come on social media or when it hit the news. Because it's definitely going to hit the news. So, don't be sitting around here talking about, oh, y'all weren't even talking about Rich Home Corn, baby. You know we was actually talking about it for the last three years because they been talking about him in court for the last few years. They just got through talking about Woody and, and, and his friend who done passed away shot up Rich Homie Corn Daddy Barbershop. So he all looked through the court, the trial. You know what I'm saying? So who knows what happened for real? You know what I'm saying? And my thing is with this now, then what we really finna talk about, we finna put this on the table like real folk. I really don't think that he switched up on the plug. 
I really don't think that he switched up on the plug, y'all. I can see him at home and telling somebody to go get the shit for him. I can see that. I can see that. If this what happened, he popped a pill, a bean, a perk, or my, whatever the fuck he popped. Did he get it from the plug or did somebody else go and get it? Because it's a difference when you're dealing with the same plug. When you're dealing with the same plug, I don't care what kind of drug you get from that person. They going to tell you when they got a bad batch. You feel what I'm saying? And they will refuse to sell it to you. You know the plug you've been dealing with for two, three, four, five years. So... My thing is, I don't think he switched up on the plug, y'all. I really and truly in my heart, because, you know, friends ain't shit, man. You'll think these people loyal around here and around you and really and really vibing with you and really fucks with you. And in the back of their mind, they hating the fuck out of you because they haven't gotten to the level that you got to. But it took a lot for you to live that life. Man, them folks will turn on you like crazy, man. Them folks will put something on your drink. I, I see it on tube, tube every day. It be on the news every day. Friends, drugging friends, trying to kill friends. What about that girl who went out of town? And, and she ended up dead and had all them friends around her, though. Man, please. Man, please. What about that lady? Who was going out of town to a different location to live with her friend. They were starting their life over with. And her friend killed her motherfucking ass and used all her identification. What about that? Ain't no friends. And then I noticed that. And I know a lot of rappers, they have a lot of people around them. But I know some of them. They don't have but the motherfucker that's sitting on there on that mixing thing. And they might have one more person in that studio. And those people are safe and sound if you think about it. But you got to think about these rappers and these celebrities. And they be having a whole lot of people around them all the time. You know, supposed to be the hype men. Supposed to be your partner them. You know what I'm saying? If these celebrities and these rappers and just people, human people of today will think logically when it comes to having different people around you, different vibes, different spirits and stuff around you. If you would think about it and you know it ain't no good for you. You will have that around you. And half of the people that are unalive, they wouldn't be unalive. They'll still be here. They would have known how to handle that. You know what I'm saying? But that goes back to the drugs. Drugging and shit. And drinking lean and shit. And as my friend called it, oiling. Drugging and oiling. You see what I'm saying? And when you drugging and oiling, you ain't realizing shit. You dozing off. You might be high some motherfucker go to sleep. But you got to keep in mind, you got all these people around you that you trust. But they really ain't shit. You might have one or two out that crowd that got your back when you dozing off and shit. But the rest of them, they trying to figure out a way to get your money, get your jewelry. God damn it. Fuck with your car. Fuck your girl. Move in your house. All of that. So if people would think logically like that. They wouldn't have all these problems going on that they be having on now. Now that's the way I feel about it. And I'm 58 years old. So I've been in this world and I really know what's happening. And I've been around a lot of people. I have a, I have only a few friends. And I've been having these friends from way back. My son, 30 years old, I got a friend, I don't have a friend, 31 years. I got a daughter, 26, I don't have a friend, 26 years. Like, 
I have three friends. That circle smile is this red dot on this video recording phone. And when you got all these people around you and shit pop off like that, you don't know who did who and what did what and how the fuck they did it, when they did it, and what time they did it, who they called to do it. Motherfuckers sneaking on the phone and texting and shit too in your presence. When motherfuckers go to texting and shit and, and not still on board with what the crowd doing and what the crowd talking about or what we talking about, there's something else going on. I figured that out too. Motherfuckers will set your ass up. So, I don't know what's going on with that situation, but I do know he's a good rapper. Atlanta finna shut it down for him. I'm surprised I ain't had no balloon release or no camera light visual yet, but they probably finna do that in a minute. They done had some kind of party, some kind of festival. They done raised money for the daddy. Not saying that they didn't have life insurance. Just saying that the city want to give back to what he gave us. You know, it's a lot of people that listen to music. And that music gets them through the day. Do you know how many people love lifestyle because they want to come up? Or because they have came up and what they had to go through to live the lifestyle that they're living now. You see what I'm saying? So, sometimes that rap music get a lot of people through what they going through. Don't get it twisted. It ain't always got to be rhythm and blues. It ain't always got to be gospel in church. It ain't always got to be Pope Anna, P. Anna, and trumpet instrumental. Baby, it could be rap getting you through a lot of things as well. So don't get it twisted. But I'm here to tell you, it's some going on. I can't put my finger on it. But guess what? When that eye tops to come out. Ha <laughs> ha. Just like them hoes came out. Them hoes came out the woodwork. And when I tell you people are so upset because little chick from Love and Hip Hop came out. She was the first one who came out talking about how they were friends. You know, they were taking different pictures and stuff. You know, motherfuckers back, bust her out, talked about her like a dog, gave her ass hell till she took the post down and boom. The next couple days, it's like three more women done came out. That he done took pictures with. That he done laid in the bed with. That he be in the car with. In the bathroom. Taking selfies. You know what I'm saying? He done bought these whole shoes, phones, clothes. You know, everything paid. Bills, rent, and shit. You know, even though he had a girl for 15 years. Been with her for 15 years and did not marry her. <laughs> Rich Tom Kwan was out here like a single cigarette, y'all. And to be honest with you, those girls who came out with the pictures and stuff, they say one of them already had it all over social media. It ain't just because he passed away. She been taking pictures with him. And you never know who that is. That's why I be telling people. People be jumping the gun too much. You know, we just on the outside looking in. We don't know. You don't know what this man could have been to them women. You know, a lot of men need affection in another way that their girl or their wife can't give them. And I ain't talking about nothing intimate or nothing sexual. A lot of men and a lot of women, they need someone to talk to. Someone to share their feelings with. You know what I'm saying? They need someone they can lean on. You know, they need someone to comfort them as a friend. You know, sometimes you have friends... And you tell your friends stuff, and your friends and stuff, go, your, you and your friends go through stuff, and your dude or your wife will never find out, because y'all friends. When it comes to being a fucked up situation, when friends start being intimate with each other, and I'm not saying that's what these girls were doing, because who knows, a picture is a picture. <laughs> 
A picture is a picture. And evidently, if it was something to it, if, if it was an intimate relationship or a sexual relationship, or however he was kicking it with them girls, he didn't care. He was wide open about it. He was gladly taking pictures and smiling with them and shit. And so people saying, oh, they should have took it to their grave. Oh, they shouldn't have brought that out. If, if he wouldn't have died, they wouldn't have never posted this. They both on probably say they were going to take it to their grave. What the fuck? Come on. We all grown around this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? We all grown. And if y'all is women, he manipulated y'all not to tell or show people that you and him was together. Y'all was the fool, not him. Y'all knew for a fact he had an old lady, his children's mother. I ain't even heard nobody else come out and say they had kids by just keeping it 100. So he been with her for 15 years, y'all. She knew. Just imagine a man being with a woman for 15 years. Do you think in your mind that she is the only coochie that he gonna get in 15 years? Now, if he's trying to tell women, men step out, but get with Half of the time, they don't be wrong yet. Half of the time, no hoe be forcing that shit on them. Half of the time, it's just something to do. An STD. Something to do. And then sometimes they like being in other people's company that keep them comfortable with where they at. You see what I'm saying? A lot of times, they can't trust being over other women's house or being at a hotel or an Airbnb or chilling in the car with them. It got to be somebody that they trust. Especially in the business that he was in. So, these women came out so well. So well. I guarantee you, if one of them women would have passed away, he would have been posting the pictures of him and them. I guarantee you. Like, come on. We're human. And sometimes we do things to upset other people. And that's something I think that some of those girls were doing. Like, y'all trying to upset this lady. This lady grieving. Even though this motherfucker didn't marry her and he walking around him single as a motherfucker cigarette doing whatever the fuck he wanted to do when he wanted to do it. He even was on a report, y'all. He even was on a podcast or something. And get what get what Rich on the corn said. He said once he finished with these hoes out here in the street, first he said he can get any motherfucking hoe he want. Any woman he want. He said once he finished with him, he be ready to go back to his old lady. He said as soon as he get up for having sex with him, he be thinking about his old lady. He be ready to go to the comfort of his home where his old lady and his family at. You was just an STD. You see what I'm saying? But y'all as women, y'all put yourself in that position. Y'all know the man. See, that's the problem now. The men be messing around and we as women be the side chicks. Be accepting that. Come on for real. It's enough men in this world for everybody. Everybody might not can't find one right now. We might not be in the right place at the right time. Sometimes it be time to change your environment. But why go fuck behind another girl? And let me tell you something about that. And people don't realize that. Okay, boom. Rich on corn. He got an old lady at home with two children. So that means they've been sexually active without a condom. Okay? He come and have sex with this other girl over him. We gonna call her Jewel. He come over here and have sex with Jewel. 
everything that's going on at the house with him and his old lady, whether it's good or bad, all the vibes, all the spirits in his old lady body is going into this side chick jewel body. And then vice versa. Jewel ain't shit. She a side chick. She didn't have a sense enough to say no. So, Jewel fucking this, that, and the other because she knows she's just a side chick and he going to go home every time. So, when you fuck, when he fuck Jewel, he going to get all Jewel nasty ass spirits. All Jewel nasty ass vibes. Anything negative going on with Jewel, he is in him and he going to put it back up in his old lady. That's why you got to be cautious of what you're doing and who you fucking with. And not only do it come to significant others, it comes to friends and family too. That's why I say it's song going on with this rich homie coin death situation. Let's talk about it. Leave me a comment in the comment box below, baby, because I want to know. I want to know how you men feel about it. I want to know how y'all feel about switching up on the plugs. I want to know how y'all feel about people bringing your stuff back. I don't even be wanting a motherfucker bring me a bill back unless it's my children or somebody that I'm very close to. You know, people, people be taking your kindness for weakest. People be thinking they slick, not knowing that you are the one that can I slick the slicker. You know what I'm saying? People be thinking they be up on something. But me or you be the people laid back. Like, I already know this bitch doing what she motherfucking doing. But she think that I don't know when I really know. Let me see how far this hoe gonna go with it. You know what I'm saying? People be, people be all over the place. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say it's something about this rich homie coin deal they just don't sit right with me it ain't even cool to be a rapper no more y'all and i'll be back <laughs> you know i'm coming back peace